There's nothing to do to the guitar. It's a one man job, sir. I should have my guitar so you put some strings on it. What? I should have my guitar so you put strings on it. You should have brought your guitar. I would have put the strings on it. Yes. Swampy. You would have yes. kept it one What we're doing is we're stripping the paint off our guitar here. Okay? We have already cut the hole out for our P45. We got our pick guard made, which is right here. Okay, it's a beautiful pick guard. Okay? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not the best pick guard, but it's a fucking pick guard. <laughs> stripping the paint off now what I got here I got an industrial heat gun okay if you look right here I'm gonna show you let's get that baby cherry red does it look cherry red is it yeah. if you look right there you can see it's cherry red I don't want to get too close but what we're gonna do is uh, this is a polyester finish this is what the brand new guitars have okay do you see what I'm saying it's very very thick and very very hard to get the resonant sound, to get the quality sound out of your guitar, we need to get this finish off. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Can we hold the gun for you? No. You can't burn the wood, bud. We gotta take the paint off without burning the wood. What we're gonna do, we're gonna heat the uh, paint up, and all we're gonna do is heat it up to where it starts bubbling. Watch close. So you wanna heat the paint up, keeping the heat off of the wood, when you start to see the paint bubble, okay, that's when you take your scraper and look how easy that comes off, Swampy. We're not really concerned about the paint underneath. All we're concerned about is getting the polyester finish off. You see what I'm saying? Once you get going with it, once you get going, you just follow the heat and it comes right off, see? You want to use a dull scraper blade, but you don't want to use a brand new one. Okay? If you use a brand new scraper blade, what's going to happen is you're going to gouge your wood out and then it's going to be crazy. So be very careful not to burn your wood and your hand. But do you see how I'm doing that? You see how I'm doing this? So it's, it's a procedure that takes a while to do, right? Yeah, sometimes you gotta do stuff just for fun. Sometimes, sometimes when you start getting paid for the job, the job doesn't isn't fun anymore. So sometimes it's nice to keep things as a hobby, yeah. so it gets to be exciting. Uh, what you do is when you turn your hobby into a job, that's when you really don't like doing it anymore. We already know that from building street rods. We know that from doing collision work. You know, once you turn it into a job, it seems like it's not fun anymore, but... And I enjoy working on my guitars. Okay, it's a hobby for me. You have lots of guitars. I got a lot of guitars. So basically, what me and Swampy are trying to show you here is that you have to strip your guitar for the proper way. Do not use the heat gun until you burn the wood. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. You want to? All you want to do is heat up the clear coat, and it will come off easily. Then we will go ahead and sand it. Let's get all the paint off. Let's come back. What? Nothing. And let's sand it down. Okay, we got the front of our guitar stripped down. Now it's time to strip the back. But we got our knurls in here. Now, a lot of people ask, how do you get the knurls out, my friend Pete? How do you do that, Swampy? Okay. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take our scraper blade, and all we're going to do is just wobble them out of there. See, just like this, if you watch real close, you can see that they will come right out. There's one. Oh, wait, all the screws in? Oh. See what I'm saying? I thought you'd pop them out one time and they all go all out together. See how easy they come out? Look. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, all you gotta do is just lightly uh, move them around and they will come out just like so. Just like that. And there you go. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six. You need a cup? We don't want to lose those. Now it's time. Now we can strip this down. Uh, you can go ahead and leave those in there if you want and paint your guitar if you're afraid that you're going to scratch or ruin them. But uh, what's going to happen when you put the strings in there and the strings are pushing down on the knurl, it will crack around your finish if you're worried about that. Me personally, I don't give a fuck. But since they came out real easy and simple like they always do, and once again, all you want to do is take a scraper blade and just wiggle it around and they'll pop out of there. Okay, that's called a knurl. That's a yeah. string knurl or whatever the fuck they call it. Uh, you know, everybody's got to have a professional name for something. Me, I just call it a knurl. K-N-U-R-L, sir. The K is silent. So we got our guitar stripped down to wood, but we're not done yet. Just because we took the old polyester finish off, can you hold that and don't drop it, please? No, don't drop the guitar, sir. All right, just because we stripped it down, can you hold it up so people can see it? There you go. Okay, just because that uh, we stripped it down for the third time, can I go ahead and talk now? Yeah. What happened? Now, we got to sand it by hand. We'll be back to show you that little procedure. And uh, it's been a procedure, it's been a job that you can do yourself. Polyester. Let me see here. What do we got here? Well, this is to show everybody. This is the cut finish. Okay. okay. This is the finish that came off of there. This is the polyester bullshit crap finish. Polyurethane, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Okay. Right there in your face. You saw how I stripped the guitar down the easy way. I used a heat gun. Uh, you're asking yourself, will, uh, will a, a hair dryer work? I don't know, I've never used a hair dryer. I don't think a hair dryer would work due to the polyester finish, polyurethane, whatever the fuck it is, okay? I don't know. It's just the hard, super hard finish that's on it. I really don't think that a hair dryer would penetrate through the, uh, you know, soften it up to strip it down. So if you were gonna strip it like I did with a heating uh, contraption, you'd have to have a heat gun, okay? And if you notice, I use my heat gun on high, okay? Low isn't hot enough to penetrate. But uh, you saw how I did that. You saw how I stripped it down, okay? There it is, right there. You saw how I stripped that bastard down. You saw how I took the son of a bitch and I brought it down to the bare raw wood. I, I stripped it down just like a stripper on a stage in a bar. Stripping is how I stripped it down. Okay, not really that way, but you get the fucking picture here. Uh, you can see where the heat gun actually heated up the, the wood a little bit, okay? Uh, we'll be sanding that off. That's why you gotta really be careful with uh, your heat gun, because it will uh, heat it up, okay? Uh, I believe that this wood is either poplar or uh, alder, okay? PV Guitars, PV has always used it. Now this is USA models. I don't know about the Korean bullshit or the fucking Japanese crap or the ch made in China crap, okay? We're talking about uh, USA, okay? They use top of the line wood. They didn't skim. They didn't use plywood. They didn't use uh, uh, veneer topped fucking, you know, pine, okay? They used uh, very, very high quality expensive wood, okay? If you look at this body right here, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, this is actually a three-piece body. Okay, there's a line uh, right here where my finger is, and it goes up. And then there's another set middle section right here, okay? And then uh, the other end right here, which gives it the three-piece body. 
but it is solid alder or poplar. I think it's poplar. I don't fucking know. What I'm using is a DA sander. This is a dual action, DA dual action. If you notice, there's a centerpiece that turns this way, and while that's turning, the disc turns with it. Okay, so you got this turning this way, and this one's turning this way, and it's doing its thing. And we're using 80 grit, okay? 80 grit, now we're gonna be real quick with it. Uh, if you're not familiar with this tool, do not use this tool. You're better off sanding by hand with a sanding block or by your hand because uh, if you don't know how to use this or any other power tool, you're gonna fuck it up, okay? This is not a piece of metal, this is wood. So the longer that you sand in one spot, it's gonna eat the fucking wood away. Always remember to use your safety equipment. Do not breathe the dust in, even though it's not toxic. They say, I don't know, okay? Uh, I always wear safety precautions. Okay, don't breathe that in, so always wear your safety. But this is a dust mask, professional dust mask, okay? We're gonna use that as we're sanding. Here we go. Okay, now, once you've sanded it down and got all the plastico finish off, or whatever it's called, okay, now what you wanna do, you wanna sand it by hand. Okay, I'm gonna tell you again, if you're gonna use a power tool, you have to be careful with it, because that power tool will eat it up raw, okay? Uh, I noticed where it's a little bit lumpy right in this area where I used my power tool, okay? And I'm telling you, you don't wanna fucking fuck it up, okay? Uh, we are going to go ahead and make What I got to do next, I'm going to sand all this by hand, all this edge here, and then I'll come back with a block, okay, a hand block. Let me get that. I'm going to show it to you. Okay. I'm just going to take a rubber hand block, just like you see right here, okay, and I'm going to block the whole guitar down by hand. Okay, you have to do that. We're going to start with 80 grit dry sandpaper, then we're going to work our way down to probably 320, okay. Uh, so that'll be 80 grit, then 180 grit, and then 320, and then it'll be ready to bleach, prime, and fucking paint.